I feel like waking somebody up today. I am Pastor Woke, and this is your prophetic countdown. This is part two of the great awakening that will spark the revival of the end times. So we're going to start off where I left off with yesterday. First Peter 5 and 8 says, To be sober and to be vigilant, to be aware, to be awakened, to be watchful, to avoid danger. Why? Because you have an adversary. Your adversary, the devil, is as a roaring lion that walks about to seek who he may devour. Many of us, if you if you watch the animal kingdom, um, you understand that lions are the ultimate predator in the jungle. They are considered the kings of the jungle. They are excellent at finding prey and hunting. But the Bible says that your adversary, that you have an adversary in this life, and he is like a lion, a roaring lion. He's walking about the earth, seeking who he can take out, who he can devour. Understand this, for the satanic agenda can be seen in the entertainment business today. You have rappers, singers that have sold out. You have sports stars that have sold out. You have political leaders who have sold out. You even have actors and some of your favorite actors and actresses have sold their souls. You even have social media influencers. You even have political and civil rights leaders who have been set up why to be the ops to lead you astray and yes we even have modern day pastors who are selling their souls for fortune and for fame they are pledging their allegiance through hand signs and handshakes through rituals of sexual immorality and rituals of blood sacrifices while they have made their decision, the earth is on fire. Do you understand? There is a great falling away that is beginning to happen. People are giving up on what they believe. People no longer are holding on to their moral standards and they are believing the lies of the serpent. People no longer even have a desire for church and the things that are holy. Preachers no longer preach about Jesus or sin, but they have become mere motivational speakers trying to get you to the next level of enlightenment. You even see the satanic agenda are going to going to places that you would have not even even expected, such as elementary after school um, programs, satanic after school program for kids. You even have cartoons that that is pushing the satanic agenda. You even can't even go to Target and shop for your children. Why? Because the satanic agenda is targeting our children. To make Satan some type of superhero. What but I want you to understand is that God is up to something. There is something powerful that is happening. Something supernatural that is going to affect and impact these last days. For Yahuwah, the Most High God, is preparing a strong, and small, powerful army called the remnant. The Bible, um, in many scriptures, um, with the prophet, the ancient prophets, they talk about the remnant. 
which means that which remains. Obviously, there's going to be something major that's going to take place that's going to cause a remnant of believers um, that is going to do a work in the last days. They will be the most dedicated people on the face of the planet. They will be raised up by God to spread the gospel and to shake the earth, to shake the world. I want to let you know, some of you that are watching, if you are one of those ones, that God is calling you in this hour to shake the world, to evangelize and to share the true, pure gospel of Jesus Christ, Yahusha. Um, there's scripture that says um, here that they're going to shake the earth. Many people believe that there will be no great awakenings or revivals in the last days. They, they think that the awakenings were all in the past, that there will be a period. But I want to let you know there's going to be a period just before the return of Christ called the Great Tribulation. This great tribulation period is a time where the earth will experience divine judgment on the earth. Revelation 7 says there's going to be a great multitude which no man can number of all nations and all kindreds, peoples, and tongues. They will wash their robes and make, their, make them white in the blood of the lamb now that is so powerful because there's so many people that don't believe um, in the lamb of god but the bible says there's going to be a great multitude and i'm speaking to you listen you might be listening to me from the future but i want you to know that there's going to be a great multitude you might be one of them that's going to wash in the blood of the lamb there's not just going to be one group of people, one race of people. But the Bible says there's going to be a multitude, a great multitude that no man can number. All nations from out of every nation, every kindred, peoples and tongues will wash their robes and make them white in the blood of the Lamb. But I want to share this with you. What I'm speaking on right now is the last great awakening. I believe that we are experiencing the last great awakening. It will culminate in the mass conversion of the true Jewish nation all over the world. Now, if many of you have been following my channel, whether it be YouTube or following my page, whether it be Facebook, or our, our Instagram or TikTok, you know that I believe that the that the true Israel have been scattered throughout all of the four corners of the earth. I believe that the last great awakening, I want y'all to hear me, will culminate in the mass conversion of the true Jews. Jewish nation all over the world. All over the world, the true Jews are going to repent and turn to the Most High God. Romans 11, 26 through 27 speaks of a time when it says that all of Israel will be saved. Somebody put in the comment section and say, all of Israel will be saved. Zechariah 1 and 3 says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, says the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you. This is a time more now than ever that we need to turn to Christ. Believe in him. The Bible says, If you draw nigh unto him, that he will draw nigh unto you. 
understand this. This is a great spiritual awakening that will come in an evil time. In, in the most darkest of periods is going to be when the greatest of lights is shining. <laughs> there is going to be a great spiritual awakening that's going to come in a dark time, in an evil time. And guess what? It's not going to begin with the majority, but it's going to begin with a dedicated few. Understand this: God don't need a whole lot of body, a whole lot of people to 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 fulfill His purpose in the earth. He just need a few dedicated people that would surrender to Him. Understand this: this move, this movement will be aided from God, from heaven. Understand this, that God has a plan and there's nothing that the devil, there's nothing that the, the sat satanic followers can do to stop what God has already orchestrated and have written before the foundations of the earth. This is a movement that will be aided from above. This is a movement that will fulfill the great commission of Matthews 24 and 14. This is the gospel. The Bible says that the gospel will be preached in all of the world for a witness unto all of the nations. God is, if you're listening to me in the future, God is raising you up to preach the gospel to the world as, and for you to be a witness unto all the nations that God's word is true that he never lied, that his word never fails, that it shall come to pass. If you are listening to me right now, I want you to know today that, th that there is a mighty move that is getting ready to happen. God is getting ready to send a mighty revival in the land. Understand this, when all of these things, all of this chaos begin to break out in the earth, when all of these problems begin to happen, when all of these unexplained apparitions as Rome and Vatican has been talking about begin to happen, when all of these alien um, um, beings begin to appear, the world is going to begin to change and shift for there's going to be people that is going to begin to begin to move they're going to be either they're going to begin to make choices and decisions for their eternal destination and i want you to know today that your eternity is based off of the of the decisions that you make in your life God is raising up a remnant in this hour that is not going with the majority, but they're going with God. 